हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम मनोज कुंडारे द असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक साइंस वेलकम बैक टू आवर ई लर्निंग प्लेटफॉर्म इन प्रीवियस वीडियो दे हैव सीन द कंसेप्ट ऑफ द फ्रीक्वेंसी शिफ्ट किंग मेथड इन दैट वीडियो वी हैव सीन दैट इन फ्रीक्वेंसी शिफ्ट किंग द कैरियर इज ट्रांसमिटेड इन टू फ्रीक्वेंसीज दैट मीन्स द फ्रीक्वेंसी एफ जीरो विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू बाइनरी जीरो and frequency f1 with respect to binary 1 okay the link of the previous video is available in the description box please check it now in this video we are going to see the concept of phase shift king method in phase shift king the phase of the sinusoidal carrier is changed according to the data bit to be transmitted the following figure shows the simplest form of phase shift king called as binary phase shift king or bpsk the carrier phase is changed between 0 degree and 180 degree by bipolar digital signal that means in phase shift king the phase of the carrier is changes by 0 degree and 180 degree in accordance with the binary signal let's see here here the binary zero is represented in this area and in this area the carrier phase is 180 degree phase shift okay 180 degree phase shift that means it started from here to the negative part then in this area binary 1 the phase shift is 0 degree that means from 0 to the positive value okay this is known as the 0 degree phase shift and this is known as the 180 degree phase shift according to this binary signal the phase shift is introduced that means here the data 1 and 1 is transmitted that means the Zero degree phase shift is transmitted in this area. Also, in this area, the phase shift is of zero degree. I hope you all understand the concept of the phase shift king method. Now we are going to see the next type of phase shift king: quadrature phase shift king or QPSK. The QPSK is a type of phase shift king in which the phase shift of analog carrier can take one of the four different values such as 90 degree 180 degree 270 degree and 360 degree to represents four different input symbols that is in phase shift king method we seen that the phase shift is of 0 degree and 180 degree but in quadrator phase shift king method the phase shift at the four different values such as at 90 degree at 180 degree at 270 degree and 360 degree okay each input symbol is made up of two bits 00 01 10 10 and 11 in this type of systems the data groups are divided into groups of two or more bits hence it is called as multi level phase modulation technique in quadrature phase shift king method the two successive bits in a bit stream are combined together to form a message let's see the process of combining two successive bits is demonstrated here here this symbol is made up of two bits okay this symbol s2 is made up of these two bits symbol s3 is made up of these two bits and symbol s4 is made up of these two bits okay each symbol or message contains two bits so the symbol duration is ts is equal to twice tb here the time required for one bit is tb hence the time required for the symbol duration is twice 2b okay 
these symbols are transmitted by the transmitted the same carrier at four different phase shifts as shown in this table that means if the symbol 00, 0 is to be transmitted then there is phase shift of 0 degree if the symbol 01 is to be transmitted then there is phase shift of 90 degree if the symbol 10 is to be transmitted there is phase shift of 180 degree and if the symbol 11 is to be transmitted there is phase shift of 270 degree okay this is known as this is 00 this is 01 10 and 11 okay this diagram is known as the constellation diagram okay let's see once again this diagram is known as the constellation diagram of quadrature phase shift king method now let's see some important po points about the quadrature phase shift king method since there are four phase shift involved the system is called as quadrature phase shift king or four phase shift king system if symbol 00 is to be transmitted then we have to transmit a carrier at zero degree phase shift if symbol 01 is to be transmitted then we have to transmit same carrier at 90 degree phase shift similarly the message 10 and 11 is to be transmitted by the transmitting carrier at 180 degree and 270 degree phase shift respectively this concept will clear in the next diagram here is the diagram of quadrature phase shift king method is shown in which the bit sequence 0 is to be transmitted hence there is a phase shift of 0 degree that means it starts from this point and this is known as the phase shift of 0 degree okay now in this area the 0 1 bits are to be transmitted hence there is phase shift of 90 degree and the 90 degree phase shift starts from this point to this area okay this is known as the 90 degree phase shift now the bits 10 to be transmitted hence there is a phase shift of 180 degree that means it starts from here and goes to the negative value is known as 180 degree phase shift and if 11 to be transmitted then there is a phase shift of 270 degree 270 degree means negative value okay this is the 270 degree phase shift let's see once again if 0 degree is 0 degree phase shift is to be transmitted then the wave starts from here okay now if 90 degree phase shift is to be transmitted then wave starts from here if 180 degree phase shift is to be transmitted then the wave starts from here and if the 270 degree phase shift is to be transmitted then wave starts from here okay i hope you all understand the phase shift this is 0 degree this is 90 degree this is 180 degree and this is 270 degree phase shift i hope you all now understand the quadrature phase shift king method the bird rate for the phase shift king is half of the bit rate then the one important question arises here why quadrature phase shift king is better than better than the phase shift king method the answer is that the quadrature phase shift king is better than phase shift king method because due to multi level modulation used in qpsk it is possible to increase the bit rate to double the bit rate of the psk without increasing bandwidth the noise immunity of qpsk is same as that of psk system the available channel bandwidth is utilized in the better way by a qpsk system than the psk system now let's see the advantages of the quadrature phase shift king method the first advantage is that it has very good noise immunity second is bird rate is half the bit rate therefore more effective 
utilization of the available bandwidth of the transmission channel the third advantage is that there is low error probability in quadrature phase shifting method there is one disadvantages of the qpsk is that the generation and the detection of the quadrature phase shifting technique is very complex it is not simple process the applications of the qpsk are it is used in high speed modems it is used in digital dv and it is also used in communication between earth station and the space shuttles i hope you all understand the qpsk method now we are going to see the next method quadrature amplitude shift king qpsk or quadrature amplitude modulation technique or method in qam or in qpsk method the direct modulation of the carrier in quadrature is involved therefore the system is called as quadrature amplitude shift king that is qapsk or qask it is also known as quadrature amplitude modulation or qam that means in phase shift king we see that we seen that in that method the phase of the carrier is changes in accordance with the binary signal but here the amplitude of the carrier is also changes with the phase of the carrier this is the very important thing here that in quadrature amplitude shift king method the amplitude of the carrier is changes okay now let's see the types of the qam depending upon the number of bits per message the qam signals are classified as follows for qam there are 2 bits per symbol and 2 raised to 2 is equal to 4 number of symbols the next type is 8 qam there are 3 bits per symbol and there are 2 raised to 3 is equal to 8 number of symbols the next type is 16 qam there are 4 bits per symbol and 2 raised to 4 is equal to 16 number of symbols there are the next type is 32 qam that means there is 5 bits per symbol and the number of symbols are 32 the next type is 64 qam that means there are 6 bits per symbol and the number of symbols is 64 now let's see our next point in 4 qam system constellation diagram of the all symbols have the same amplitude but different phase that means in 4 qam system this is the constellation diagram of the 4 qam system in which we can see that all the values have the same amplitude that means 00 01 10 and 11 have the same amplitude but its phase are different in 8 qam system constellation diagram there are two amplitude levels and four phase levels in the constellation diagram of 8 qam system we can see here that there are two amplitude levels that means this is the first amplitude level and this is the second amplitude level for each phase okay that means for total four phase there are two amplitude levels here this amplitude level and this is the another amplitude level okay now let's see the time domain display of 8 qam in this diagram here the bit 000 is to be transmitted hence its phase shift is 0 degree and it starts from here to here okay the next data is 001 its phase shift is also 0 degree but its amplitude now is changed okay it has the high amplitude with respect to this amplitude okay now the next bit is 010 its phase shift is 90 degree 
it has low amplitude okay this is the area of the 0 1 0 okay now the next bit is 0 1 1 it has phase shift of 90 degree but here the amplitude is changed that means in each case we can see here the phase shift is same but the amplitude for the two data bits are changed okay this amplitude is changed and this amplitude is changed okay for example here the amplitude for bit 110 is shown here and the amplitude for 111 is shown here in the ca in this case the phase shift in both is same that is of 270 degree okay that is of 270 degree i hope you all understand the quadrature amplitude modulation technique now let's see the comparison between qam and qpsk system the first parameter is type of modulation in qpsk the quadrature phase modulation is used and in qam quadrature amplitude and phase modulation is used in localization of signal points in qpsk on the circumference of the circle in qam equally spaced and placed symmetrically about the origin the next parameter is distance between the signal points the distance between the signal points in qpsk is d is equal to 2 into under root eb for n equal to 2 while for qam it is d equal to 2 into under root 0 0.4 into eb for n equal to 4 or m equal to 16 the noise immunity for qpsk is better than qask and the noise immunity for qam is poorer than qpsk the probability of error in qpsk is less than qask and the probability of error in qam is more than qpsk the type of demodulation used in qpsk is synchronous and also the type of modulation used in qam is synchronous the system complexity of qpsk system is less complex than qask while the simplest system complexity for qam is more complex than qpsk i hope you all understand the comparison between qam and qpsk and also you have understand the phase shift king method and the QAM method. Thank you.